This is going to be part two of uh, the Megalomaniac map on Transport Fever 2. Uh, so last time, uh, well, we got this uh, line here operating with some uh, transfers uh, from the towns to the train stations. Uh, since the last time, uh, I've just renamed the uh, the uh, bus stations here to match the train stations and that's all I've done actually so let's get the uh, game proceeding again um, so uh, what I really need to do is uh, I think I need to uh, e expand uh, the capacity of this line. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a couple of more passenger cars. So uh, is I think I'm going to actually need that capacity. So uh, that's going to cost 800. Well, I'm going to add one more. Uh, so that's going to cost 400k. But uh, based on the number waiting here, 74, I really probably should put this, the fifth car on there as well. Ultimately, what I should do is uh, uh, add a passing point and, uh, and a second train. But that's expensive, and uh, and just getting uh, so like we got 162k from a basically full train there. Uh, okay, so now we've got 56 on on here, and it will come over here, and it should get a basically full load on its way back as well. Uh, so that should. That should get the uh, cash flow going quite well. Now, while that's tooling along, I'm thinking maybe it would be worth my while to set up uh, cargo for conmats here. Since uh, McAllen take wants con mats and so does Long Beach um, the other one the that uh, McAllen wants is goods which is a miserable complicated supply chain so uh, yeah so uh, it might be worth getting a construction materials uh, operational uh, now for that uh, the first thing I need to do is get stone from the quarry into the conmats plant. Now we don't even have to finish the um, the supply chain there to uh, to get this operational. So uh, I'm actually going to uh, do that. Is, uh, we have enough uh, loan capability available. Okay. Now don't make this mistake. You definitely want a cargo station and a terminus station is fine for the um, the quarry well no not. okay I'm just trying to get it to be somewhat parallel with the side of the quarry there oh look we don't have enough cash I know how to rectify that. Borrow. Well, I'm going to need a little bit here, so I'll just borrow a bunch while I'm in there. Um, and then we'll put our uh, station here. And this one, uh, I think I'll make this a through station. Uh, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, now 
that's Long Beach Quarry. So I'm going to call this Long Beach Quarry. And that's. Uh, so that'll be Long Beach Construction Materials Plant. Okay. Now, I need to put a track in between. Whoops, need rail to do that. Um, okay, so, yes, of course, you were brilliant and you didn't point them at each other. Um, okay, now how bad is this? Uh, if we are playing in the uh, mid to late 20th century, this would probably be a route that would be ideal for trucks. But with the horse carts, we're not going to make any money if we go that route. Okay. Uh, so we have that. And we can grab a track from here. Which can then wander over here. Uh, as I said last time, I'm going for one train depot on the whole map. And this is the sort of thing we need to do to make that happen. Now, out of curiosity, what's the maintenance on... Uh, does it say what the maintenance on these things is? No. Um, right. So I'm going to need a vehicle. Uh, I'm going to go with the Baldwin again. Um, yeah. Not really appreciably different than the Russian. Okay. So, so we'll add a Baldwin and then cargo. We need gondolas. That's four. That's seven. Uh, weight five tons, weight ten tons. Hmm. And this one is the same specs, but bigger. So, uh, like longer. So, yes, I'll, uh, I'll grab a number of these. Now, uh, this will, will produce uh, 400, uh, which means that we can ship 400 uh, right off the bat. Uh, we're up to 1.2 mil. No, 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 no. Okay, so that's a hundred, that's 70 capacity. Okay, so we got 105 capacity with a, uh, a 117 meter train. That's about as much as I'd want to go to. Now, this train will be slow. Uh, so it'll, it'll take forever to get, uh, get up to uh, uh, any amount of uh, a speed. So we'll see how well this does. Uh, right. So I'm going to buy it. And, oh, right. Wait, I need to make a route. So, new line. Here to here. And I'm going to... No, I'm not going to. Okay. And this will be cargo Long Beach quarry to Long Beach con map. Now, I'm using abbreviations so that these things actually fit in the uh, uh, thing there. Now we can add that to here. Uh, right. Okay.
so that's going to chuff along for a while. Wait, what's this? Uh, this guy's got 56. I'm so going to need to make that train uh, bigger. Okay, now let's speed everything up here. And we'll, we'll ride on the train here. And I see the uh, frame rate's a bit janky here. Might need to adjust the graphics settings. Okay, and we've picked up 21 stone. And we're headed off to the... Uh, to the Conmat factory. So basically, uh, cargo, uh, if I get this delivering to the two towns, Cargo is a great way to make a lot of money early on. Not to mention, it helps out uh, quite a lot with town growth, especially early on. Okay, so how much is this going to uh, net us? Ninety k. But then we'll go. Well, we'll leave that one pinned, and we'll go over here, and we'll see that uh, we're going to pick, be taking twice as much with us this time, at least. And that's really uh, the key. Uh, you can't judge whether your uh, line is uh, uh, profitable until after it's been operating for a while. So... Um, Right, so it's arriving here, and now what are we going to get for a cargo? Uh, we're taking 60, so that's going to be quite a lot uh, uh, better. Um, right, this, I definitely need to uh, add at least another passenger car here uh, and we'll do that now let's call this up and see what we've got going on here so the uh, road vehicles are coming out ahead here uh, where is it there it is how much is this going to bring in? Two, f almost two sixty. So, uh, as you can see, uh, that's going to uh, bring in quite a lot of of money. Uh, I'm going to repay part of the loan because I think we'll uh, be able to stay uh, uh, positive here. Uh, right. And this is up to 39, 40. Uh, okay, so so it picked up 48 that time. Well. Uh, it's definitely, uh, well, let's take a look here. Rate, 191, okay. Uh, right, so anyway, uh, this should break even after this trip, so a couple more trips and it should stay positive. Uh, so basically, uh, in just uh, a year, game time, or so, we should have a fully profitable uh, company operating. 
Uh, oh, you see, our... Uh, oh, we've just flipped over, right? Uh, so we were profitable except for the money we spent these two years. So... So this one didn't quite break even. Uh, right. Now... Uh, where would I be delivering the con mats to here? That is a good question. And do I want to see how well it works with horse carts? You know, the horse carts option might not be such a bad idea. So, I guess that means I'm going to need cargo station. Now, where's the con mats wanted? Over here. It's all over here. Okay. And I can get most of it with a truck station right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that would be a spot for it. Yeah, I think that would be the spot for it. Okay, so 362. Oh, I think that's the spot for it. Okay, then if I go up here. No, 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 no. So if I do this, no, I think I'll do it on the other side. Okay, that gets, no, I'll do it on this side. Okay. Oh, not enough cash. That would do it. No, oh, auto saving. Well, let's borrow some. Oh, that was repay, you moron. Okay, there's my loan maxed out. So there we go. Now, we just need a country road, which we can make a level crossing on here. And... We can make a level crossing there. Right, okay, now we've got a road connection. Now, we need a line. We need a new line. We need to grab the truck station to the truck station. Right, and this is Long Beach Con Mat to Long Beach. And that's uh, a cargo line. Okay, now we can use this here, buy a vehicle cargo, 
Okay, horse drawn carriage to um Okay, that is these are all basically equivalent. Yep. Okay. Now I think I'm going to need 20 of these just because these things are so slow. So I'll buy those and con that to Long Beach. Now it'll take a while for this to bed in. So if it's going to make money, it'll be a while before it does. Uh, and this is just an experiment. Realistically, I could drop a uh, terminus train station in here and uh, run a train line up here and then I'd be good. For shiggles, we can actually ride on the uh, carts. So look at that, a nice line of uh, cargo uh, wagons. Although uh, you can see the, uh, the wheels look kind of funky there. Uh, that might be partly because I have some of the uh, graphic settings on medium or low. Oh, look at that wonderful view. Let's look at the guy behind us. Let's see what it looks like if we go at a normal uh, pace. Okay, those horses look funky. Oh look, it's the it's the landscape going by. Trees and oh look, the all the proper parallax and everything. Cool. Okay, we can look. Oh, we're riding the horses, okay. And we can even look up at the skybox. A tree oh my you know I'm not convinced all of these these rocks everywhere are uh, particularly uh, useful uh, I think there's far too many of them and I think that uh, impacts the uh, game performance a lot more than uh, than a person might uh, might expect although this grass is kind of neat uh, that's new Uh, and you, though you can see there's some uh, stitch points for textures, so it would be kind of good if they could uh, somehow work on that. Obviously this is rather a steep hill. Uh, and of course we've created a bottleneck at the station. Because of course... Uh, we flung 20 carts at the uh, line all at once and when you do that of course they all arrive at the place all at once but they should space out a little bit once the uh, line gets going I wonder if the uh, game is a little less quantum in its uh, behavior with uh, vehicles lined up. Uh, Transport Fever 1, uh, if the vehicles waited more than like half a minute or so, they'd actually stack on top of each other, which was clearly not the uh, right thing for them to do. Oh, look at this. Here's the uh, train station.
Anyway, let's get out of there. And, uh... Are you hauling anything, too? None? Two? Okay. Okay, so we're slowly... Uh, yeah, see this uh, tailback is uh, clearing as these guys start working their way down here. Suppose I should actually watch this end, which shows you where the money's coming in. Is there anything here? Well, that guy's got four. Well, if anything, that'll tell us how... Uh, how cost effective this operation could be. So let's speed things up here and see how that goes. So in he goes uh, 6,800 compared to the running costs of those things that's pretty good. And this should keep emissions down at least early on as well. Uh, relatively down anyway. Okay. So that should mean that the uh, road vehicles are making money again. The trains aren't though. Right, so, okay, the trains might be now. As we have this distance all the way back here where these, these uh, wagons are running empty, that is going to uh, uh, significantly uh, impact the uh, profitability. Okay, so we've got product stacked up here. I might actually need to extend the platform there. I've got too many uh, rail cars on here by the look of it. So, yeah, I, I clearly do. There's... Uh, half a dozen too many. So we'll manage it, edit the consist, take uh, two, three, four, take five of them off there, and drop back to 70 capacity. There, so we'll have lower uh, running costs on that. A uh, good chance then uh, that we'll actually make some money on it. That's uh, an important uh, thing. A lot of um, a lot of players will make that error. Uh, have too many uh, too many uh, wagons on the train, uh, and then not actually be making money. See here, we're only carrying thirty nine of seventy. And we only have 38 waiting, or 40 waiting, so it could well be that uh, what, I, what I need to do here is also knock a wagon off that for maximum profitability. Um, yeah, I think I will. Uh, so we'll knock the back wagon off. Okay, so that should get us back into profitability. So that, that's an important thing when you're playing the game, is to make certain that if you have made an error, like bought too much, uh, rolling stock or something, uh, make sure you deal with it. Don't just uh, 
uh, sit around and suffer or something. Because the sitting around suffering uh, thing isn't actually going to solve your problem. Um, it does look like I might want to expand that platform. Uh, and that's something you can do in Transport Fever 2 that you couldn't do in Transport Fever 1 as well. Uh, but let's take a look at the town here. So we're delivering 50 of a, or, or so of 119 conmats. So that gives us a plus 40% to the uh, to the uh, the target population. Uh, private transport is doing uh, pretty doing some level of connection on on the desk on on transport, and our uh, transport is also so so you know. The uh, residents with their own private cars uh, do improve the growth factor of the town as well. So these, so so we we've got a plus fifty percent here now, and uh, sixty, so one hundred and ten percent, and a ten percent penalty for emissions. So that means we're are, we're potentially growing to plus one hundred percent on the. Uh, uh, target population, which basically means we double the 197 to 3, 394 there. So that's how we, we grow towns. Uh, right. Uh, you know, I think I want to take a look at this. So now our, our stuff is, is uh, on the plus side again. Uh, I'll repay uh, some of the loan, just you know, save a few dollars. Uh, but this is uh, this this is net positive. This was net positive. Uh, coming up on the end of uh, June, uh, so end of quarter two. Uh, so Long Beach here uh, should uh, should actually grow a reasonable amount. So, um, oh, that's quite a hill there. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Okay, so that's uh, basically what I wanted to accomplish this time was get this uh, running just a little bit better. And, uh, and and see and get another line going. Uh, so anyway, from from here to um, McAllen is too far for uh, wagons. So uh, I think next time around I'll actually bring Conmats into McAllen. Uh, but I'm debating whether I bring it to a distribution station outside the town and truck it in. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, but anyway, I'll uh, I'll discuss that possibility more in the next uh, in the next part. Uh, anyway, uh, what can we what can we look at here? We can see. Okay, so we can take a look here. We've got wagons waiting for a train to go by. And that is lumpy as anything. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this time around. And I guess I'll see everyone back next time.